Hi, Taurus. All right, let's see what the advice is from Spirit. Oh, they're already popping out. You have obsession. It says focusing too much on one situation, the need to just take a step back. You also have speak up. What are you not saying that is eating you up inside? You can't keep this in forever. It's time to let it out so you can move on and be happy and release doubts. You've been here before. Trust yourself and believe in your own strength to own your life. See your money, what your advice is here. It says a new perspective. Get a change of scenery to see things differently. It says nature, travel, adventure, possibly moving as well, making some sort of change. Awakening after you rest a while, cultivate new interests. Job search, more, and rising. All right. What is Taurus's advice, or what is the message in the tarot page of coin? The star card. I'm getting like, be ready to receive. You could be receiving something. You could be also asking for something with the speak up card. I feel like it will go well. Like if you're asking for a raise, wanting to have a conversation with someone. This could be you. You could be dealing with another earth sign. I feel like something's going to go your way. The Five of Swords. What is this for Taurus? Chariot. So you could be traveling, moving, um, buying a car with a chariot. Something's moving forward. There's definitely some communication here. So, so you're going to take some time off. I see you also asking for time off and getting it, or taking, you know, taking a trip. You may be doing some traveling, or you know, you could be even driving in a car, like doing a trip, a road trip, I guess you would call it. Chop wood. Let's do the work. Thinking. Chopping wood and thinking a lot. Chaos and conflict and new life. Yeah, so some of you definitely, you are not happy in the work you do or the life. Whatever's going on around you, the chop wood is just like having to do work. And it could be obviously your job. It could be something else as well. So you're obviously thinking you don't like this. So it's time for a change. It's time to do something different, to move, to make something happen in your life. So... What is the advice for Taurus, the Moon Rising, and Venus? Now, some of you have, may have been saving money. It's time to get out of your shell. It's interesting because Hermit's in reverse. So that's like getting out there and doing something new, not hiding anymore. I feel like the Queen of Wands is you. It's time for a new adventure and to move. There is a King of Cups under the deck, so there may be a water sign in your past. I don't know if this person could be a help or they're a hindrance. They could be someone who's hindering you, holding you back here from the cards. Or they could be somebody who you brought off the bat and know like this water sign could be very helpful in some way. Let me pull, pull a card about that. Let me see. Some sort of divine intervention. Something happening outside of your control, Taurus. You're at a crossroads. And listen to your intuition. See, travel. I mean, it's all over your reading, you guys. It's like, it's time to go. If you don't feel like you have the money or, you know, the time or whatever it is, it's definitely you need to make some sort of change to your life, some sort of a, you know, scenery change, like or take a short trip if you can. Maybe get into a different industry. There's a spiritual awakening happening here, too. What is a spiritual awakening? I got two. So there could be someone where there is love. There is a connection here, the Two of Cups. That's interesting. What is this divine intervention for Taurus? Messages and seeing something differently. This could also be the speaking up, hangman. I'm sorry, the Eight of Wands could be the part about speaking up and saying something. Now someone may have some feelings for you. Maybe obsessed with you, maybe thinking about you a lot. They may speak up. This may be your uh, ticket out or ticket to do something different. You may see someone in a different light. And what is this travel? King of Cups. You're under the deck. There's an offer here. There's a relationship here. Some of you, maybe you have been with the earth sign, but maybe a water sign is coming in. Or you know this water sign, who this is. Or vice versa. But yes, there is a person here for you, Taurus. Now this person may be someone who could give you advice. Maybe this is someone who's going to help you or something like that. But uh, there's very possible. Look at the Nine of Cups. I'm just going to clarify the King of Cups. 
Nine of coins under the deck. I definitely feel like you have some untapped skills or skills you know that you are not using. I don't know why it's coming through that way, but that's just kind of what I feel. Like you could make a lot of money from these skills. So, yep, the crossing, initiation. There's a change here. So, again, I get this King of Cups is important. It could be a woman. It does not have to be a water sign. It's just someone who could be very nurturing and loving. I feel like they could have good advice for you and be very helpful. They definitely could have hidden feelings for you that they may reveal. Initiation. So something new being initiated into something. They could be at a distance. And stars in the sky. Limitless possibilities. Yeah, some of you definitely have possibilities that you haven't, I don't know, tapped into is kind of what I'm getting. Where there's a specific person. All right. Somebody may be going, I get the name like George, Georgia. It could be the state. It could be a name. It could be a, a city or, you know. So keep that in mind. Just coming through the name like kind of Georgia, George. Horse, freedom, action, moving. You have a very strong focus on moving forward. Romance, getting out of the old, taking offers. If someone has something to offer you, like it's time for a new life. I get like it's letting go of the past. I'm going to ask again for the divine intervention. I'm going to ask again, what is this intervention that could be happening for Tauruses? What could be happening in your life showing up? Queen of Cups. Queen of Wands. Wow. Emperor Energy. Nine of Wands. Could be people that you're just tired of being around and working with. This could be family. This could be um, exes. This could be, you know, you know, friends who are not really friends. It kind of looks like something is going to be revealed to you. Someone may say something. You may be tired of a situation. This could be, again, family. Uh, this could be people who don't give advice. Or this is, could be people that are helpful. You know what this is. It's definitely people. So people are part of the divine intervention. And this Nine of Wands guy, it looks like he's tired of it. Is he was looking over the situation isn't making him happy. This could be a job with too many people, you know, getting involved. And so you may have a wake-up call. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Spirit may say, hey, look, it's time for you to get out of the situation to move, to get going and do something new. You're, you weren't re meant to be stuck here for this long. So one more for Taurus. What is their advice? What is their advice? Thank you. Yep, you're burnt out. So your hard work will see results, but your health is suffering. You're burnt out, basically. So, again, there could be some toxicity around you. Uh, this could come in, you know, different ways, family, work. So it's time to get out of the situation. They really are trying to push you towards, towards something or someone new. Let me see if there's a skill here also that's something they want you to know. What does Taurus need to know as they make a change? Thank you. Some of you are healers. So you have the spiritual gift of healing. <laughs> And a desire to share it with others. All right. All right. I'm going to pull one card of advice for you in closing here from Spirit. One card of advice. What does Taurus need to know or do? Four of Cups. An offer could be coming in. So you may not see this offer. Again, it, it's going to come in with either like a phone conversation, a message. A conversation from someone, an offer, it's under the deck as the Nine of Cups. Whether Whatever it is, really look at it because it could be your ticket out. Whether it's, again, a new job or work or someone wanting to collaborate with you. So I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. Have a great week.